Sometimes that's just what it comes down to, I suppose. We did, we've did. we seen some very interesting picks in this tournament. Uh, oh, no. One oh, more on wow. attack. Even with Tibbers up, I don't think he actually had the stun up for that either. So, going to get a quick instant replay. Uh, make sure to pay attention to Pure. See if he gets that stun around him just in time for Mr. Tibbers to come down. I think he casts one spell. Nope, he just doesn't yeah. have the stun up. So even though Tibbers came down, it was not enough to keep him alive. Yep, still one spell away from that stun. That much-needed stun with the Tibbers will uh, cost him his life. Someday, picks up his first win, though. Probably not enjoying it too much. Yeah, I mean, it gets a decent amount of damage down, but it's only a matter of time for the Divine Blessing comes up. Wild Growth comes out from pure flash forward by Someday. He's gonna find the kill. And that's gonna be a 2-0. For someday over pure, as we can see the replay coming in right now. Now it's it actually, a lot of aggressive play. Yeah, starts off not too badly for pure when he gets a nice ultimate to disengage, but someday has his flash up, and unfortunately pure does not, having flashed away defensively earlier. That will give the kill to someday a 2-0 victory over pure. Yeah, so that is a uh, that is why you ban Kale in the one v one. Very much a powerhouse there and he'll be able to use it to win the game if he gets up to 100 cs which he does need to have 10 over ganked by mom but he's almost there if he gets every minion in this wave i think he might actually just win and so gbm's walking forward deucin does have his ultimate up again he's waiting there he's gonna hit gbm of course he has already won the game with a 101 cs to 91 cs final score Yep, so overall, I mean, despite the immense amount of harass that we saw their first clash in the mid lane there. We'll get ready for some action, I will say. Oh, avoids completely that ultimate. There's Ignite going down. He needs one more out attack to pick it up. It's ganked by Mom. With the first blood so close in there, that Ignite, really the uh, the turning point. And also being able to dash right to the side and completely avoid collateral damage. Beautiful micro there by Gank by Mom, just just barely avoiding that. Of course, he missed his last steel Tempest, but he had the auto attack that won him the game, winning the one v one versus Tucson's Graves. It's GBM, and he'll tie the series up at one to one, or just keep killing CS and keep Tucson from ever getting that uh, ten CS advantage. Whoa! And this is actually going to be a kill for Gank by Mom. Wow. More aggression, that giant spell gave Tucson a little bit of an advantage when he came back, but he could never get that 10 CS advantage. Yeah, it actually harms him because, as we can see here, just really nice piercing arrow into the ultimate, lays down the hail into Ambition. Okay. This is looking very bad. Oh, and there's actually the uh, flash force out. Ace in the hole comes out! It's first blood for Ambition. <laughs> Yeah, I made a desperate play. Tried to get the bullet time out to get some damage in, but it wasn't able to do enough, as we'll see in the replay coming up. All right. Uh, yeah, got to get the replay in here. Actually, uh, dead even on gold, too. Both 80 carries. There's a 10 gold difference between Ambition and OQ and more sustain. Well, but that's a terrible position to be in because now walking forward, he's going to force out that barrier. Ambition walking, running for the hills, running for the brushes. He's trying, he's on the run. Can he get this executed? He needs built over a peacemaker. Snipes him down. And it's <laughs> Ambition. Winning game oh. number one, but losing this game number two to OQ's Kalen. Yeah, we can see, like, he tried to play forward here, but OQ realized that he had the advantage. He's just has the damage, he's able to poke him out. Graves doesn't really hit a power spike, but he might just force some minions, and he does! Oh my god, we were gonna see the two, two minions, one more CS, and he's gonna get it! A one, wait, did he get that? Yeah, one, yeah he, that was a 100 cast, CS advantage, he, yeah. He cast the Petrifying Gaze to finish off the minions. Let's see if we'll get a replay of that, but... Yeah, that cast was... Petrifying Gaze just to get the last minions in, hit 108. Well, pure, but he'll be... Getting seven very soon for Tucson. He needs a turret shot, however, here. And a lot of damage coming out onto him. Yeah, Pure does not have Ignite. Tucson does. Mm. So if Tucson can get the knockup, no, there it is. Reggaeton. There we go. <laughs> yep, and that is a. Uh... Wow. Yeah, just well played by uh, Pure here. Goes to realizes how much of an advantage she has over top of him. Nice knockup. Windwall doing absolutely nothing for Tucson. Gets thrown down. Um, but yeah, pure. 
picking up a win. Yeah, this is really bad for Tucson. Actually, wow. Oh my god, he killed him with a 90 caliber net. That <laughs> is some style points right there. OQ. Yeah. Fancy <laughs> feet by OQ. All right, here Just... we're going to get a quick instant replay of this. We got the flash. Auto attack, 90 caliber net for the kill. Oh my god. All right, OQ putting the cherry on top there at the end. Picking up that kill on a two set and moving one game closer. <laughs> All right, so six is versus six. No ultimate, though, for Pure is going to be a kind of a disadvantage. He's going in. He's got uh, no minions on his side. It's three to one as far as the minion battle. There's the barrier. There's the kill. It's OQ. Grabbing yeah. his uh, the, the last kill that mattered here in the semi or uh, in the round of six, the solo king. You can just see, look at that damage. He doesn't have to worry about missing acid hunters. Just hits him point blank, hits the barrier for moral support, and there it is. Oku with a win over pure will be.